friends after a long time i am here in the youtube so uh, in the meantime i have made uh, different apps and uh, three uh, apps i have already uh, uploaded and published in the play store and uh, this is one of the old one it's uh, more than 5000 uh, downloads are there you can use it uh, highly rated apps in the play store and there are apps in the mobile um, indian mobile laws and now recently i have come with these indian evidence act uh, applications and um, and in going to the this application and this is the logo you know, after installations you see this logo this logo into the mobile phone display let's um, see the details of this app so uh, after visiting the uh, google play store we're going to get this my app logo uh, having e and uh, if you uh, i have already installed it so if you want to install you will install and then open and after opening you're going to get this is of this app so uh, this is the um, android app indian evidence act it's a very simple app i have uh, only used one list view and one pdf view so we'll first going to the android uh, manifest.xml uh, three activity i have uh, one is a main activity and i have taken two more activities the one is the evidence activity another is the full view activity and uh, you see this is the main activity i have connected this uh, sorry and this is main activity with the evidence dot class that is the evidence activity and this is the evidence activity main uh, evidence dot class file and within this i have connected this evidence dot this is the full view class file and within this uh, full view class file i have used some uh, statements these are statements which is actually corroborating with the chapter and the pdf files you may see this the asset name of the various pdf file i'll show you this all this asset file asset file uh, file and all these pdf files was connected with the um, uh, chapters of uh, individual chapters and this is uh, you see if you go to the evidence you'll see that i have taken uh, one um, string pdf files when all the chapter strings have been taken and uh, in the intent so i have taken intent and start activity so we had i have also taken some intent and start and all this so these are the uh, uh, part and these are the asset file which i have used which is connected actually if you go to this uh, full view you see these are the pdf files i have connected with the asset name so uh, these are the xml file so i have a few xml file depending on the I main activity and all you see uh, this is the activity main xml file so this activity main xml file i have, uh, I have taken uh, uh, two uh, image view button and uh, one text view button and one is by one is normal button so one is text view uh, two image view and one is a button so these are this is one uh, one image view this is another image view and this is the um, button i have taken uh, and uh, and this is the text view i have taken so this is a uh, activity when xml then we'll come to the next file that is uh, activity underscore evidence dot xml you see there is a list view and this list view uh, contents and items and these you see this is the item uh, when you are clicking and after uh, customizing and all this so uh, this is the activity um, underscore full underscore view dot xml so i have taken the pdo view so that is the uh, entire structure of this uh, very small app and this and is the little uh, script and i have um, work on these uh, dependencies if after completing all this if we're going to run this in our uh, emulator you see uh, so this is the first page of this mobile app and uh, one button and uh, if we click on this button you see that list view is coming on in that list view various chapters are one by one there is chapter one there is preliminary chapter two uh, of the relevancy of the facts so we have totaling uh, around uh, 11 chapters in indian evidence act including three parts and all these chapters are uh, activity so if we click on the uh, chapter one preliminary then we will see the, uh, the this uh, part one of the uh, indian evidence act in my app if you want to have to see that this your uh, display is very small so you can scroll it uh, and, and make it bigger and then go through the um, uh, that sections and then you can read it so that 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 pro, uh, scrolling provisions the enlarging provisions are there you can enlarge it and then read it uh, within the part one there will be uh, chapter one the preliminary and within this preliminary we're going to get the from section one to four and uh, i think the most important uh, difference in this what is evidence and section four is also telling about uh, the quality of proof whether the proof can be taken as a may presume 
taken as a self-presumed or conclusive proof. So that is the chapter one. Then I'll uh, click the backspace and I'll come to the chapter two. And chapter two com contains uh, from section five that is a different part of relevancy. Uh, relevancy of facts is a is a uh, big chapter in Indian evidence and it's a very important thing because we know that there is a two pillar of evidence. One is relevancy and another is the uh, admissibility. And uh, when these two uh, yard sticks or quality has been passed through, then only the other quality will play uh, any other important role. So this is the uh, section 5 and uh, a different part of the, we have section 6 as gesture and then we have facts which are the occasions, causes or effect of the facts in issue. Then we can come to section 8 is the motive, preparations and previous subsequent conduct. These are our pillar actually of uh, Indian judiciary, uh, how they appreciate the evidence. So anything coming within the yardstick of these uh, definitions and other for generations, for um, more than one uh, century, uh, these will going to be uh, taken as a uh, appreciable uh, evidence. So cardinal evidence. Within this chapter 2, we are going to have that is 5 to 16. Then we will come to uh, within the chapter 2, we have other uh, subheadings. One is the admissions. And uh, what is admissions? What is the law of admissions? What are the different type of admissions? And these are all been explained in uh, from section 17 uh, onwards and, uh, and admissions. And thereafter, another subheading is coming by statements by persons who cannot be called as witness, uh, who cannot be called as the witnesses. So uh, under this, there are uh, you know dying declarations and all coming under section 32 of Indian Evidence Act. Uh, and thereafter, there are other subheadings coming under this. The statement made under special circumstances. There are some circumstances where the statements are made and all of the significance or how the court will appreciate those are being explained herein. So, uh, uh, and there are another subheading. There is how much of a statement to be proved and judgments of courts of justice when it becomes relevant. So that is also discussed uh, under sub, uh, that um, subheading under from section 40 to uh, continuously to 44 and then coming the opinion of the persons when relevant is a very important thing because judiciary has to rely on uh, various experts and, and relying on their opinion so from that perspective section 45 to 51 important then comes the character when relevant so character when relevant is coming from section 52 to section 55 and then we'll come to um, uh, chapter 3 in the part 2 there is a regarding on proof on proof and the chapter 3 uh, within that ch part 2 it says about facts which need not to be proved and within this there is section 56 57 and all these are uh, till 58 we have three uh, provisions in it then we come to uh, chapter 4 in chapter 4 we are going to have uh, what is oral evidence and the evidence value uh, of uh, and the quality of the oral evidence to be uh, adopted by the court and these are section uh, from section 59 section 60 are the two provisions are within this chapter 4 of Indian Evidence Act then will come to chapter 5 and in chapter 5 we're going to have uh, provisions on uh, of documentary evidences and uh, so uh, previously we discussed about the uh, oral evidences now it is uh, documentary evidence, the two most important pillar of Indian uh, evidence uh, appreciation system. So, uh, and, and, and also this is uh, uh, common to other uh, countries, uh, how they appreciate, how their judiciary, uh, honorable judiciary appreciate their evidences. So, uh, in, uh, of documentary evidences, chapter 5 starts from section 61, 62, 63, uh, 64 and 65, you know, 65 has got amendment when uh, the provisions of electronic evidence how to ev electronic evidence will be dealt with has been included into section 65a and 65b and i have also discussed this in my uh, another mobile apps that is uh, indian cyber laws and um, and um, thereafter section 66 and uh, 67 and uh, these are all coming under amendment because of it act is 67a another amendment and uh, these are all part and then 73a and proof of a verification of a digital signature. So uh, within these um, uh, documents uh, of documentary uh, evidence chapter 5, we have another subheading and that is uh, public documents. What is public document and uh, what is private document and how the public document appreciated in the 
court of law all been discussed in section 74 and um, uh, there are uh, till uh, section 78 and then there are other subheading sub coming up that is presumption as to the documents and these presumptions uh, started from uh, from section 79 Uh, 80, 81, 81. And there is another amendment coming up uh, by the operations of Information Technology Act. Then 82, 83, 84. Another uh, provisions are 85A, 85B, 85C. These are all uh, presumption as to the power of uh, different um, electronic agreement and electronic records and signature and other things. Uh, very important provisions in today's parlance, obviously, because we uh, more of the time we are frequently using to nowadays. Well, in various governmental job and other things, we are proving ourselves, well, and we are authenticating an electronic record with the help of electronic signature. So these are the things. It it continues till uh, section 90, uh, 90A, 90A. There are other amendment coming after uh, the operations of Information Technology Act. Uh, so uh, then we will come to uh, chapter six, um, and in the chapter six we are going to get it is regarding uh, it is on of that exclusions of oral. by documentary evidences so uh, section 91 is uh, start it starts from section 91 and all these been discussed here so uh, where the um, oral evidence is excluded and uh, exclusions of the oral and uh, by the documentary evidence so these are the provisions are coming under this chapter till uh, section 100 and from section after the section under that is from uh, from 101 we're going to have a, another chapter and that is part 3 and, and then and this part is on productions and effect of evidence and under this part 3 we will have uh, chapters like chapter 7 uh, and in this chapter 7 we uh, it is under um, of the burden of proof and this is very important uh, aspect with proving the various evidences burden uh, is upon whom to prove the uh, facts or things so uh, within this section 101 102 103 is a very important provisions um you know uh, section 106 is very important uh, in explaining the special knowledge uh, it is uh, uh, hugely been explained uh, by many a judgment by honorable uh, um, uh, supreme court of india and there lot of interpretation is coming up uh, by the, the honorable apex court of india so there are other provision as well uh, presumption is coming under 111a uh, and then you know, we have some presumption under 113a 113b and then 114 and in uh, 114a and then state amendment in chapter is there that is 114b so these are uh, last part is on, on the various presumptions how the court can presume the fact and 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 there are the from section uh, we start from section 115 that is chapter 8 uh, estopel um, how the um, operations of law uh, will going to stop various Uh, scenarios in our various ways of appreciating uh, evidences so um, it starts from uh, section 115 116 117 three sections are there under uh, estopel lawful estopel and other things uh, and what this then comes the chapter 9 in this chapter 9 we are going to get details on the witnesses um, uh, who may testify uh, different type of witnesses uh, and the appreciation of uh, evidences the weightage given to Um, various witnesses and these are all explained uh, or from this as a very crucial and very important chapter under Indian Evidence Act and it starts from 118, 19 and all this and uh, there are other provisions as well until 113 provisions there is number of witness no particular number of witnesses will be in any case be required for the proof of any fact so it is a very important interpretation by the honorable appeals court many a time that it is it's not quantity but the quality of evidence which matters so this is the chapter 9 um, and then uh, from chapter 9 will come to chapter 10 and in the chapter 10 we going to get of the examinations of the witnesses uh, and under chapter 10 of the examinations of witnesses we have section 135 uh, 136 and, and all these provisions are there till section 166 and uh, you know uh, presently in india there are no jury systems but still it's a, a british leg- legacy we are carrying so um, uh, we have this uh, chapter 10 where it starts from section 135 and it uh, ended in um, section 166 so we'll have only one chapter in our hand uh, 11 it contains only one sections and that is on uh, no new trial for improper admissions or rejections of evidence so um, these are all i have 
tried my level best um, to uh, frame uh, these app, the UI of the app, and thereafter, uh, very, uh, with the help of very simple code, uh, made a, as an app in a native platform. Most of the mobile phones in the world, uh, at least in India, runs on um, Android. And if I get any opportunity in the later part in the future, I'll also upgrade it into the um, iOS. You know, there are, uh, presently uh, we don't need to go uh, to have a the different uh, native uh, apps uh, because we now we have Google has come with a Flutter and this Flutter with the with the Firebase is actually helping a lot because if somebody is actually using the Flutter uh, doing the Flutter project or Flutter platform, then the app which is built is actually will be run in both in uh, Android as well as uh, iOS platform. So uh, um, because of the lockdown fear, lack of infrastructure, we have a lot of time but we don't have that infrastructure. So uh, I have come with a very simple app and I definitely, I will promise you, if required, I will come with other uh, different changes with the, with, the, with the way of different versions and I have tried to make it a very very simple and very rudimentary app and um, a very lightweight app, ad-free app. So thank you friends, it's a very small app and uh, I'm definitely going to make a full uh, uh, video on how the apps have been going on. I'm uh, making a series of apps which can be of use to the people and based on subject of techno-legal and other uh, areas.